Today's game room idea is a bit different. Although you are welcome to follow along, instead of solving a problem for everyone, I'm trying to solve a problem for just one person. This is my niece. Say hi. Hi. She's a great kid and one of my favorite people in the world. She likes to play Dance Central and Just Dance, plus other games that she and I play together. Although she's usually really happy, something's been making her sad lately. She's really interested in Beat Saber and wants to play it, but mean Uncle Sony says she's too young for PlayStation VR. What you doing? Nothing, just looking at the clock. Why? Just waiting until I'm 12. Oh, you poor thing. I hate to see you sad. I'll tell you what, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Okay, so the plan is to make her a set of real-world Beat Saber so she can play along too, either beside me or with YouTube. And I have some ideas of where to go. The first thing I needed was a pair of flashlights, and this set I got from Harbor Freight fits the bill exactly. They are the exact right size, roughly an inch in diameter, and the fact that they are in the right colors is a happy coincidence. Now the Saber Blade. After looking around, I decided to go with these pump blaster water squirters I got from Walmart. There are a variety of other styles of squirters, but this brand pairs perfectly with the diameter of the flashlights, so I grabbed both a red and a blue one. I only need the outer tube, and to size this right for her, I think I'll cut it off right about here. Carefully cut it through all the way around. The plunger components will be thrown away, but keep watching for an alternative use. So now I have the saber blade and a way to light it, I just need a way to secure the parts together. The simplest and most durable idea I thought of was to use bicycle handlebar grips. The flashlight is going to be inserted first, but I'm going to intentionally leave the end sticking slightly out. This gives us easy access to the power switch and the ability to change the batteries in the future. It's going to be quite a tight fit, so I'm using soapy water to slick the inside of the grip. Even with the soap, it was pretty tough to press that in, but I did it without damaging the grip's interior. Next is the tube. Exact same procedure, slick it up with my soapy water and work it in. Since this tube has an open spout on the end, it isn't airtight. That's lucky because this would be much more difficult if it was. I'll just keep working it down until it gets as close to the flashlight as I can get it. While I finish this, a couple of things to know. I bought all of these parts locally so I could get this video out as soon as possible. We are past midsummer, and these water squirters are a highly seasonal item. If you already bought some this summer, great, but they won't be around long. The flashlights I found are pretty bright for only having a single LED, and my choice in handlebar grips was pretty limited. Something that looked more like a sword hilt would have been cool, but this closed end would have to be modified. Also, I would have preferred them color matched to the saber. Online, there are a lot more options. Flashlights in this form factor can have several LEDs. There are grip sets that include multiple colors, or you can buy a blue pair and a red pair in order to mix and match to your savers. I have many links in the description and on my project page to see what I mean, but these grips are untested for this purpose and it's important that they are pretty rigid and durable to hold everything together. A loose grip might benefit from adding some hot glue, and I'm not sure that a light foam grip will hold up to a lot of play. There, how does that look? Anything missing? Hmm, wrist straps. The flashlights already have a small finger strap, but I'll replace them with these wrist straps. Much better. Since I got so many wrist straps, I decided to color coordinate my move controllers while I was at it. One saber down, one to go. While I construct the second one, let me suggest some untested build variations. The plunger handle can be pulled off of these squirters. You could hot glue the plunger tube in place at the cap and use it as a light core for a different lighting effect. Instead, you could add a little tinsel, glitter, or chalk dust to the empty tube for different effects. Just remember to seal up the spout tip with hot glue after working it into your grip. You can cover the flashlight lens with a colored gel or use a colored marker to further color the light. I even found similar flashlights with a colored LED. What about a black light? Pair a UV flashlight with a blade customized with UV markers or ink. 
By the way, there is a whole community of DIY laser sword enthusiasts for some reason. Feel free to search out their tips to enhance your build. Okay, they're finished. Before I give them to my niece, let's recap. Had such a great weekend playing two-player Beat Saber. Beyond the game, these are just fun to play with. My wife's a photographer. When she saw them, she decided to use them to experiment with light painting techniques. All in all, I'd say this was a fun and successful project. Thanks for coming along.